about when I see clients one-on-one -on -one, and I see quite a few, when people come and we have our first appointment, I have a series of questions that I ask and trying to decipher what's going on in the body. And I ask these questions because when someone says yes to any of these, this is where I make a note that, oh, we're going to have to work on digestion. So I want you to ask yourself, how many of these do you say yes to? Are you constipated or do you struggle with diarrhea? One or the other. Those are an indication that digestion is having a hard time. Number two, do you struggle with insomnia? In many cases, insomnia is linked to improper digestion. Not every case, but in most. <clears throat> Acid reflux or hiatal hernia. That is an indication that digestion is a struggle for you. Number four, do you have skin stuff on the go? Do you struggle with eczema, rosacea, hives, uh, itchy skin, um, psoriasis actually, acne, persistent acne, hormonal acne? <laughs> Number five, do you have food allergies or food sensitivities? Oh yeah, 100%, you can't digest well. Yeah, Fred, oh, and, and also improving digestion is what's going to bring down that list of foods you can't tolerate. Uh, number six, can you see poop in your stool? Can you see food in your uh, poop in your stool? Can you see food in your poop? Oh, it's still early, right? I haven't had my coffee yet. Do you see food in your poop? Yeah, can you make out the salad you had last night? Uh, corn doesn't count. No one can digest corn. No one. <laughs> but do you see the almonds you had last night? Do you see the tomato skins from the sauce you made yesterday? Are you able to pick out the salad? Ugh, please don't. And also, oh, we need to fix this. Yeah, that's a surefire sign you can't digest well. Number seven, do you struggle with gas or bloating? Or conversely, I'll add to this that I see this in some people. You know, when I eat meat, I just get really bloated and feel gross. So I just don't eat meat. Is that you? You're having a hard time digesting sugar. It's not the meat. <laughs> Meat is supposed to be hard to digest. It is supposed to take up fuel from your body and it is supposed to take time because protein should not be digested like that. It's supposed to be digested over a long period of time and keep you satiated. Okay, stop it, Luca. <laughs> Number eight, do you have painful joints? That's a digestive issue, but uh, that's so sorry. Number nine, do you have allergies like hay fever? Or, you know, we can extend this to histamine issues, actually. Most people with histamine issues are having a struggle with digestion, actually. Number 10, do you have an autoimmune condition or a chronic disease diagnosis? Friend, digestion is one of the pieces that is being asked to look after. So how many of these have you said yes to? If you've said yes to at least one, and if you've said yes to more than one, I think you should be in the network. In the network, what we're going to be doing this month is giving you small pieces to get started in addressing what's going on when there are digestive issues. So it can be a digestion issue with actually breaking foods down in your stomach. It could be an inadequate production of acid that then turns on those digestive enzymes in the gut to better break down foods. It could be an issue with digesting fats. It could be an, an issue with your microbiome not doing adequate digestion either and contributing to things. And when digestion is not working well, your microbiome is going to be off, baby. Oh, yeah, totally. So we'll be talking about the microbiome as well. And we'll be linking it all in in this next two months. Now, there's also the issue of pushing the poop out. Oh, yeah. If you're having a hard time moving foods out or if your system is moving it out for you really quickly in diarrhea form all the time, there is an absorption issue that is now going to impact how you're functioning day to day. So we need to look after absorption, improve absorption as well. So there's a few different ways into this. How many of these did you say yes to? Wherever you're watching this video, I'd love to hear in the comments below. 
And listen, we want you in the network, right? So um, you'll find the links as well on how to join us wherever you're catching this video. Thank you.